Sydney's housing crisis is spilling out into the streets. We need more funds to ensure that not one in two people are being turned away at the doors of homelessness services. Budget documents show housing affordability continues to worsen, with rents and mortgage payments on the rise. And compared with household income, mortgage payments are the highest they've been in 20 years. The state's signed up to a national housing accord to build 377,000 homes by 2029. That's about 75,000 a year. It's going to be a real stretch, um, to be honest. Today's promise to build 8,400 social homes is the government's most significant commitment to public housing to date. And it says half of them will be offered first to women and children fleeing domestic violence. A second policy to sell off surplus public land for more social and privately owned homes will help the government increase density closer to services. Look, this makes a lot of sense and it's something that has been recommended for a number of years as a good policy option. The first time we're actually seeing real investment in social and affordable housing. The government says it will build a total of 30,000 homes over four years with another scheme dedicated to building rentals for essential workers. I saw a report that Sydney is the second most unaffordable city in the world. In Australia, this is a big country and there are lots of plants. You know, the people don't have a house. That is the first and most important thing. With 58,000 people stuck on the social housing waiting list, help can't come soon enough. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Sydney.